What's going on, my PT peeps? I'm a walking dead family. Welcome to the PT channel. I'm one eye bright. You don't know if I'm winking or I'm blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the walking dead. And in this video, we're going to break down our top nine seasons. Top nine, because there's only been nine seasons of the walking dead. So obviously, spoiler warning from season one to season nine. Spoiler warning, we're going to talk about all things walking dead. So if you're not up to date as of season nine, episode eight, Stop watching now if you're worried about spoilers, but let me know your top nine list of your favorite seasons. But if you haven't already, show us some love by hitting that subscribe button to the PT channel and joining our Walking Dead family. Obviously, photo credit to AMC and The Walking Dead, giving credit where credit is due. And here are my top nine seasons of The Walking Dead. Number nine, right off the bat, is season seven. And we had to wait all summer to find out who Negan picked. And when we found out, we lost two beloved characters. Really season seven, episode one and episode 16 are really the best episodes. And a lot of the time they are, but a lot of seasons of The Walking Dead, episode one, episode eight, episode nine, and episode 16 are really great. Mixed in with some good episodes along the way. But the season seven finale was pretty good. But the whole thing with Negan versus Rick and Negan taking over, Shiva was pretty cool. I have to give it that. But ultimately besides Shiva, and a couple moments of season seven, it really wasn't that good. And when they introduced this guy, Jared, that's the worst character of the series in my opinion. My eighth favorite season is season two. And I had to put it as my eighth favorite season because it's pretty slow. I love the well walker. I love some moments of season two, but overall it's pretty slow. Carl gets shot, they go to Herschel's farm, they're looking for Sophia, still looking for Sophia, Carl comes out of the coma. It's just one of those things where not a lot happens. Lori, Shane, Rick, that dynamic was put to the test. Lori's pretty terrible, but I did like Maggie and Glenn's relationship, the start of it. The Sophia connection is kind of slow, really slow, and then we find out she's been in the barn the whole time. There's no chance of rescuing Sophia. Andrea is kind of annoying that season for sure, especially when she shoots Daryl. Shane versus Rick was pretty good. I kind of wish Shane and Andrea left on their own and they had the ability to come back at some point like the prison, but that came and went. And the Herschel shotgun was pretty hilarious in the finale, but the season two finale is pretty good. My seventh favorite season of The Walking Dead is season eight. All Out War is kind of all out bore. And how does Rick not hit Negan right here? It's pretty unrealistic in a lot of parts. And yes, I know it's a zombie apocalypse genre, but you have to put some realistic approaches there that would make sense. The war was pretty boring. We lost some characters, some things happened, but ultimately it just was a poor plan by Rick. Daryl and Rick weren't on the same page. Old man Rick, what was that all about? That didn't happen. Morgan, and Jesus, that was pretty dumb. Didn't really like the fact of that. Morales coming back made no sense. Just, I just didn't like it. I didn't like a lot of the episodes overall. It was just kind of boring. Like I said before, Jesus versus Morgan was pretty dumb. The death of Shiva was pretty weak. I wish it was more impactful. Rick versus Daryl was pretty dumb. We lost Carl, which to me was really crappy writing. We didn't even see him get bit. Well, we kind of did, but you know what I'm saying there. And I just wish the war was more entertaining. And like I said, it had its moments, but overall it was all out bore. And why would you keep Negan alive? It just doesn't make sense. Number six, my sixth favorite season is season nine. It could be higher, we just don't know yet because we're only halfway done as I make this video. And a lot has happened already in the first half of season nine. I'm very entertained. I love the idea of Rick leading the group and then he goes away and the show is still very entertaining. There's some big, big moments that you'll remember watching and the big moments with Aaron, Daryl, Rick, Michonne, Judith, some big things have already happened and we're only halfway through the season. I'm already thoroughly entertained by the season so far. The characters that we didn't like and were annoying, they got rid of, that's the way to do it. Rick has come and gone on the show. He's still alive and he's gonna be in the movies, but Rick not being on the show has a lot of people worried about the show. But I've been very entertained with episode six, episode seven, and episode eight. I'm looking forward to the Judith dynamic, Michonne, the exes, what's gonna happen, the whispers, 
Jesus. I'm just excited to see callbacks, flashbacks, what's gonna happen with the storytelling, how it's gonna be there, what's the future for Daryl, Carol, the Pike lineup, the Whispers. I know a lot of people don't like Carol's hair, but it's all right, it's not that big a deal. I'm excited for Judith being the new future of the show, and I think Judith can carry the show along with the new characters. Magna's group is pretty entertaining, pretty cool, pretty excited for the future of The Walking Dead. I like Michonne being a part of the leadership of the show going forward, and The Whispers are here. We had some big casualties already. I'm excited to see where it goes in the back half of season nine. Number five, my fifth favorite season is season three, the prison season. A lot of stuff happens here, a lot of big moments. The idea of them taking over a prison is pretty awesome. And I have to say, season three, season one, season four and five are some of my favorite older seasons. I love watching them when it's a marathon or on Netflix. A lot of big moments with Lori, the birth of Judith, and what Carl had to do to survive the prison, the zombies, the prisoners, they're at the prison. And yes, it has its moments, especially when Rick is hallucinating Lori and just breaking down. But I like it when Daryl and Merle save Rick. And it's a big moment for sure. I like when Morgan came back around. That was a nice little connection back from season one. And of course, the first really true villain in my eyes is the governor. Some people think it's Shane, but I think the governor is the first true villain on the show. The Andrea dynamic with the governor was kind of annoying, but overall, I like the idea of the governor being the villain to go against Rick. We have good versus evil, and the governor was evil, that's for sure. We lost Andrea, which I was not upset about, and we lost Merle, and we lost a couple characters along the way. Of course, it's The Walking Dead, it happens, but Merle's zombie death is pretty epic, and it'll always be memorable to me, and very sad for Daryl. Number four, my fourth favorite season is season one. I love watching the older seasons, like I said before. Season one, it starts with the pilot. I love watching that. I could watch that every couple of days. It's done so well. It takes me back to the start of the zombie apocalypse. It's awesome. So many great moments. Rick, Glenn, Shane, just the original cast. Morgan, Dwayne, it's just so awesome. I love it. I would rank it a little higher, but there are definitely a couple seasons that are just awesome all season long. There's so many good episodes in the first episode. And as I look at these pictures, it takes me back to really the pilot episode and a couple episodes through that. To me, the first episode of The Walking Dead is one of the best and will always be one of the best because it's done so well. Rick, Shane, the start of the zombie apocalypse, awesome stuff. Number three, my third favorite season of The Walking Dead is season four. Some great moments here. We lost some characters, of course, and so many big moments happened in season four, the first half and the second half. It's definitely two different halves of a season, two different stories for sure. And yes, the flu bug virus thing was pretty annoying and drug on a little bit, but the big club moment was pretty awesome. We found out about the council, and I love when stuff comes back around as of season four to season nine. Too many walkers around the prison, that's for sure. But I like the story. It was pretty cool, and I love seeing where they were from season three. The governor came back around. We had that resolved. I love when stuff gets resolved, but we lost Herschel because of the governor and Rick couldn't work it out, and they weren't willing to work together. And like I said, the first half and the second half are like two different seasons, which is pretty great. The claimers, the start of Terminus, just so many awesome things happened in season four into season five. The transition from season four to season five was pretty great. And the way season four ended and season five began is some of the best storytelling of The Walking Dead. And I'm not sure it'll get any better in the series. Number two, the second favorite season of The Walking Dead is season five. Right there says it all. 501 is one of the best episodes of The Walking Dead for sure. Yes, Terminus was short-lived. They were on the road for some of it, but that's the zombie apocalypse for sure. Some great moments, some terrible moments, some big moments that you'll remember for sure. Just looking at the pictures, it probably brings you back to what happens to Beth, what happens to Tyrese, meeting Father Gabriel, what happens to Bob. Just so many big things. You're just thinking about it like, oh man, that happened and that happened and that happened. Yep, that was season five. Pretty awesome stuff. Just looking at this picture right here, you're like, come on, Father Gabriel, lock the darn gate. 
what are you doing? We met Aaron for the first time. We met Alexandria. Game-changing events happened in season five. Alexandria for sure came around and changed the dynamic of the show in a really good way. It kept us interested. We met some people that were not good for our group. Rick, Glenn had a problem with a lot of Alexandrians, that's for sure. And that would probably happen because these Alexandrians were so weak and our group was so strong from being out there for so long. Number one, my favorite season of The Walking Dead television show is season six. So many big, big moments have happened in season six. Yes, the season six premiere is not the best, but it's still pretty good. And overall, I think there's a lot of great episodes in season six. My favorite episode is episode 609. I'm not sure it gets any better than that. Episode 609 and episode 501 and the pilot, of course, are some of the best. Just looking at these pictures of Carol dressed up in the wolf gear, Rick making his run back to the gates of Alexandria, the walkers getting into Alexandria, Glenn going under the dumpster, and I know that pissed a lot of people off, but Glenn lived and I'm glad he did for sure. The walkers got into Alexandria and the Alexandrians were scared for sure. They didn't know what to do. They really didn't know how to handle walkers, but our group and the Alexandrians were working together and that was part of the problem. They didn't want to work together early on, but all the walkers getting into Alexandria forced everyone to work together. And just here, a big moment right here. Well, the next episode was 609. They have the meet ponchos, and then Ron shoots Carl's eye out. Abraham gets the RPG that Daryl shoots into the lake. The saviors are introduced for the first time. And it's just so many big things, big moments. Maggie finds out she's pregnant. Just so many things that I'm just thinking at the top of my head that I'm super excited for. The saviors are introduced for the first time, but then Daryl blows them up. Pretty awesome moments. And oh yeah, we meet Hilltop and Jesus and the saviors. And it's just so much going on in season six. I can't even name it all. The season six finale is kind of like, Meh. it's a good episode, but it just kind of drags on and drags on. And then we meet Mr. Negan and the show kind of falls apart in season seven. So we have the best season, which is season six, in my opinion, which is immediately followed by the worst season of the series, season seven, in my opinion. So there you go, guys. That's my list of my top nine seasons of The Walking Dead. Post your comments below. Let me know your list of the top nine seasons of The Walking Dead. I'm interested to know your thoughts. And if you haven't already, guys, please show us some love by hitting that subscribe button to join our Walking Dead family here at the PT channel. And remember, guys, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself. You can do it. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yo, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.